Hello beautiful people, hello beautiful world, welcome back to my channel. I am Ashley Renice and today I would like to tell you a story. So do you remember when we were younger and there were persons who just always knew what they wanted to be when they grew up? So I have two of those persons who I remember distinctly. One of which was, she was my friend in primary school and I have so many funny stories with her, but I clearly remember her saying that she wanted to be a nurse. And the other day I was scrolling on social media and I saw that she became a nurse in real life. And I remember thinking, hmm, I wonder if she's happy. And then I have another close friend who is very close right now i love her and she's always um wanted to be a doctor and she's a doctor today and um i know a little bit more about her life so i know that <laughs> some days she feels really happy some days you know not so much burnt out stuff like that but it was really seeing my friend from primary school that got me thinking wow she's always wanted to be a nurse she's a nurse today and i really started thinking i wonder if she's happy and then that led me to to think why didn't i always know what i wanted to be like i don't know if you're like me but when i was younger what i wanted to be <laughs> varied a lot it changed so much um and it really just the more I knew, the more I wanted to do. But I remember clearly, um, you know, there's this one gentleman at my church that he'll constantly tell me this story of how I would be teaching inanimate objects like the mic stands at church and stuff like that, right? And I'm always like, yeah i'm sure everyone wanted to be a teacher when they were younger because you looked up to your teacher so you wanted to be like your teacher well if you had a good teacher that is because some of these teachers are mm, no shade but shade um and of course like the other persons who i looked up to in my life i didn't understand their jobs at the time so there's no way i could say that i wanted to be what they are and this is me rationalizing right and then I remember my grandma, <laughs> my grandma would tell me how um, when I was younger, I would like be teaching my teddy bears and things like that. And I'm just like, yeah, but I don't want to be a teacher. And as I grew up more and more, um, I recognized that I don't know if I want to be a teacher. What I really want to do is I want to be an entrepreneur. But then in my little thinking session, I started to think even more and I started to go down this rabbit hole in my mind responsibly though and I feel like it's so important to see where your thoughts take you because seeing where your thoughts take you and just asking yourself questions um, and hearing what comes up you know it really reveals yourself to yourself it's like holding up a mirror and be like oh this is who I am <laughs> so I responsibly went down that rabbit hole in my mind and um, I really started to think why did I change from wanting to be a teacher to wanting to be an entrepreneur and the real reason was that um, entrepreneurship like people who were entrepreneurs that I know because after I learned that word it was over <laughs> but the people who I knew who were entrepreneurs or at the time like business women business men they seemed happy they seemed like they loved their lives um they were able to control the amount of money that they made and as a young person um in like the sixth fifth sixth grade i was beginning to realize that money runs the world and i it's like the 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 gravity of how much of a chokehold um, capitalism has on the society was becoming quite real to me as a young person so I quickly switched because I'm like teachers don't be looking like they got no money which means they don't have no freedom and I don't like people telling me what to do so let's just let's just switch right now you know and continuing with the story um, I, I just had it in my mind, this is what I want to do, I want to be an entrepreneur. And I stopped thinking about the reasons behind it and I just started to know that this is a part of my personality, um, it fits me very well so let me just do it. 
and um continuing in this thinking session i started to recognize that okay so in today's day and age yes i'm an entrepreneur <laughs> and i'm quite happy with you know what i do but then the question came up again what do you do and when i really thought about what i did it's i share my ideas i share concepts that i've learned um, with other persons in a way that only i can share it and then it hit me so you teach and i was like okay okay mind stop for a minute okay because i'm no teacher but then it was revealed to me that oftentimes the reason we veer so far away from what we felt like we were meant to be doing is for the same reason that i veered away is because in the traditional sense that i was seeing it being done i didn't think that those person's lives matched up with how i wanted to live my life you know like i would see my teachers and they would be amazing shout out to dun robin primary school amazing teachers really love the children but you could just see even as a child i could see that there's something beneath their whole expression that shows that they're not happy and i didn't want that and as i grew older and i became more pragmatic and just more real and as i said as i started to realize just how much of a capitalistic society we live in i was like i cannot be doing this not feeling happy not making enough money to survive right and it made me switch and veer but then it's so interesting how it always comes back to the beginning always and it really hit me this week it really hit me so this video is for anyone who isn't sure what they're meant to be doing you feel lost you feel like uh what am i doing right and you feel like you don't know what you are to be doing but i'm here to tell you that you do know you've always known it's within you and you just have to quiet the mind quiet the outside voices for a little bit um and just go back to that so i'm challenging you right now if you have been searching or not even searching but just accepting the fact that you don't know what you're meant to be and you'll never know what you're meant to be i'm challenging you to let go of that because for one it's not a fact <laughs> it's not a fact it is not a fact you do know what you're meant to do and you can go down that path if you so wish so here are some of the things that i'm challenging you to do and i'm there's no timeline on this but if you're hearing this then it's for you one try to remember that thing that you always loved to do when you were younger you you just this is just what you liked doing um when you didn't have to think about how your bills were gonna get paid when you didn't have to think about you know how your rent is gonna be covered when you didn't have to think about how far your career can go what's that one thing that you just loved doing and you used to daydream about yourself doing think about that remember that there's value in that it wasn't just some arbitrary thing and you're just young and you just young them and broke so you didn't know no there is value in that thing that you couldn't stop thinking about when you were younger and the second thing that i want to challenge you to do is while you're on that journey of remembering what what used to bring you joy what used to light you up what you always wanted to do don't silence that inner voice with um being a realist with seeing things for how it is because the truth is we often like to um cover up cover up and hide behind oh i'm being a realist we we like to hide behind pragmatism as adults because we're afraid of what may happen if 
we just allow our minds to run wild we're afraid that we might just mess around and get the life that we want get the life that we were meant for so we operate from a place of fear disguised as being real disguised as being a realist every time i hear someone says they're a realist no offense to anyone who identifies as that but every time i hear it i'm just like who hurt you <laughs> but i do know that different personalities operate differently so yeah but i want you to not silence that inner voice when you are remembering that thing that you love don't silence the inner voice allow it to run wild because one thing i want you to understand is we are whole human beings right and that includes our physical and our spiritual side we have our mind and we can look at the mind in two ways the brain <laughs> where a lot of you know our thoughts are stored and all of that and then we can also look at the mind in the way that the bible looks at the mind which is the heart and your heart is where everything flows not necessarily your physical heart that pumps blood in your body but the heart which is the center of your being literally who you are and then of course we have our soul so all of these are connected and when we begin this process of silencing our inner voice in whatever way we choose to do it what happens is it creates a disconnect it creates a disconnect between our heart or mind and or thoughts or brain and then eventually a disconnect from our soul and when this disconnect happens it, it makes living just so hard it, it makes finding that happiness and that joy and that peace so much harder because we realize that peace comes from connection it comes from connection to self and connection to other human beings so we have to be careful that we're not silencing our inner voice and thus leading ourselves to um, turmoil because of that disconnect then go out and practice that thing experience that thing that you always wanted to do and do it in a way that feels good to you you may have never seen it done before the way that you're thinking of doing it and that's okay do it in your unique way and just examine how you feel and i promise you that there will be a sense of joy and fulfillment that comes up doing it in a way that you feel like doing it and i want you to rest in that lean into that feel that fully and entirely then and only then can you make an informed decision you can decide if you want to continue living your life the way that you've been living it before unhappy unsure of yourself or you can choose to walk in faith and go experience that fulfillment that you just experienced by doing what you've always wanted to do. So if you're not sure what it is that you're meant to do, I'm here to tell you, trust me, you've always known. Now, just go live in it. Thank you so much for being here with me. It was not an easy <laughs> road getting here. But I thank you for being here and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>